Graph each equation on graph paper, then drag each equation to the correct graph. Okay, well, all of these are translations of y equals square root x. So I'm going to show you how to graph the parent function, which is y equals square root x, and it's called the parent function of these other translated functions. Then we'll talk about the translation. So let's do x and y. And we could use function notation f of x instead if we wanted to. Inputs for x, 0, 1, 4. And I'm picking perfect squares because the outputs are easier. Take the square root of 0, and that's simply 0, so your output is 0. Square root of 1, output is 1. Square root of 4, output is 2. So we have some nice coordinates here. I'm just going to put those on this first graph here, 0, 0. 1, 1, 4, 2. Okay, so this would be our graph for y equals square root x. And that's the parent function for all four of these graphs. So really all we need to do is we need to figure out the translations and match them up. Now, this one, the translation would be moving all the points two up. And if you were to finish this graph on paper, you would just translate the points two up and draw your curve like this. And make sure you put a little arrow on the end there. It looks like that was forgotten on all of these. Should be an arrow. Okay, so this one's two up. That means you have this guy right here. This one here normally would be like that. This one is two to the right. So that means we're going to have this one. Let me put the parent function up here. You can see this one was shifted down to. So this one goes here. And finally, this one is the shift to the left. This x with the plus 2 inside the radical goes with this one here. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to see the connection between this notation with the translations and the way the translation looks on the graph. And when you're graphing these functions, graph the parent function first with just a dashed line, and then you can go ahead and shift it and then draw the regular one, and then finally erase the dashes.